Hi guys, welcome to my kitchen. Um, today for our cooking lesson, we are going to make some healthy almond granola. Um, our ingredients that we're going to use are going to be some oatmeal, there's some chia seeds, which you might not have. If you do, they're a good addition. They make it nice and crunchy and they have magnesium in them. Um, but you can also substitute for any other sort of crunchy item that you enjoy. So you can use almonds, um, peanuts, any sort of trail mix is a good addition. Um, for our other ingredients that we're going to need, it's salt and cinnamon for spices. We're going to need some honey, some peanut butter. You can also substitute this with almond butter or any other nut butter that you enjoy based on your allergies. And then we're going to need some coconut oil as well as some vanilla extract. The materials that you're also going to need, some tools, you're going to need two bowls, a big one and a small one. And then you're also going to need some measuring tools, some cups and some teaspoons and tablespoons. So go ahead and take a moment to look at your recipe. It's going to tell you the, how much of each ingredient you need so you can find all of your tools according to that. Um, and go ahead and pause this video at any time if you need a moment to go through this step and take your time. So the way that this recipe is going to work is we're going to use our two separate bowls and in the large one we're going to mix all of our dry ingredients and then in the small one we're going to mix all of our wet ingredients. So you're going to go ahead and start with your dry ingredients first, pause the video, take a moment to get everything measured and then come on back. Now that you have your dry ingredients mixed together, go ahead and grab your small bowl and mix together all of your wet ingredients. So go ahead and pause the video and then once you have your wet ingredients mixed together, come on back. Now that you've got all of your ingredients into your bowls, you're going to go ahead and combine the two and mix everything together really well with a rubber spatula or any other tool that you have to do all of your mixing. Okay? And once everything's mixed together nicely, you're going to spread it out on your baking sheet with some parchment paper or like a silicone baking liner, whatever helps it not stick to the pan. So you're going to lay it out and flatten it really, really smooth so it makes just like a nice thick layer of granola on the pan. It should be a little bit squishy from your peanut butter. Um, and then once you have it laid out, you're going to pop that in the oven and you're going to bake it for as long as the instructions say. You're going to start at about 20 minutes. Um, when I made this the other day, it probably took closer to 22 to get it nice and crunchy. And then when it's done, you're going to pull it out and let it sit and cool for a little while. And while it's cooling, um, it's going to harden up and get a little bit crunchier and then when it's done cooling off you can break it up into little pieces so that way you can store it in a Ziploc bag or a Tupperware container and you can enjoy it uh, as a snack later. Um, you can eat it just by itself, it's really yummy, or you can put it on top of cereal, you can add it to like a smoothie bowl, um, however you choose to enjoy your granola. So go ahead and leave some comments in the classwork stream to let me know how you enjoyed your treat. Um, if you have any suggestions of things that you can add to the recipe to make it tasty or ways to enjoy it, um, share it with all of your friends, okay? And I will see you soon for another lesson.